Jazzcast Pros. Welcome back to the Beauty Boss Millionaire Podcast with daily on-the-go episodes packed with testimonies and business tips to help you create financial freedom through entrepreneurship. Hosted by the owner of Fricassi Lashes and the Blow Dry Lounge, the Beauty Boss Millionaire herself, Felicia Fricassi. Welcome back to Beauty Boss Millionaire. I'm your host, Felicia Fricasi, and we're wrapping up the season on business credit. So I've talked to you about all the pros of business credit, all the good things that are out there, how you can access and how you can protect yourself in case something happens. Uh, you have a blanket or a cushion just in case things get a little rough and tough and you, you might go into a slow season. We talked about that, but I want to actually mention about the bad side of business credit. A lot of people may ask, what are the cons of business credit? Well, one thing is that they can be really expensive. High interest rates, you know, it, the cost of money is more. Although they're not usually as expensive as business credit cards, but business lines of credit have high interest rates. So just make sure that you really need these things before you take them out and that you're putting yourself in a position to win. Um, sometimes you have to pay a little bit more to access money, but also there might be times where you say, you know, it's not really worth for me to do this right now. So just make sure you're being aware of that. Another con in the business credit realm is that there are wolves out there. When I say wolves, there are people that literally will say, oh, I'll give you this uh, and I want 20% interest or 10% interest. You know, there's there, there are loan sharks sometimes out there. So just be careful and, and just be ready to say no to some and yes to others. Try to go with someone with a lower limit or depending on how bad you need the money or how much of a profit you can make, it might be worth it. Another thing that people say is a con is the application process is very time consuming. And obviously, if you don't have the time or you're busy running your business, it may take some time to get to that funding. And you all know time is money <laughs> on the sense of this case. It's going to take some time to get to that money. Another con uh, to business lines of credit is that they can lead you into temptation if you're not self-disciplined. So I definitely encourage that if you're a person that is not into being disciplined, you don't have the ability to think things through before you do them, you know, being really, really impulsive, this may not be good for you because you don't want to put your business in a position where you're suffering just to be happy for one week, which could equal five or six months of high interest rates, paying out more money, and you're harming your business in the long run. So if you don't really need business credit or lines of credit, don't get them. But if you need them, it's going to help you and you're being responsible. You've had your business for a while and you know you can be a good manager of those things. Then by all means, it's a, it's a good thing. Just kind of like how regular personal credit is. You know, you don't want to abuse them and, you know, put yourself in a position where you're, you're stressed out trying to pay the minimums on everything. Another con is that it might be more expensive than a loan or a, line, a credit line. So just make sure, again, you're aware of that. Also, personal legal li liability. That's another thing, you know, make sure that you're seeing that you're not personally liable. Some require that you are a co-signer, some don't. The goal is to prepare your business where you're not signing in case something happens, you're not responsible. But there's some out there that I've seen, oh, just sign here just in case. So, you know, you're putting yourself at risk. So let's just be honest about that and be aware of that. One of the things that you want to make sure you're really aware of is that there are fluctuating interest rates, meaning that one day it's high, one day it's low, it can go up or down, it could be, you know, it all depends. So just make sure you are reading those fine print and making sure that you're not signing up for something that you don't really want to pay that much interest for. So look at the fine print, look at these this paperwork and really look through it and ask questions to see if this is something that you want to do or if it's even worth it. It might not even be worth it. You might just have to take an L and not pay yourself that week and instead make sure everyone else is paid. I've done it plenty of times before. That's like my last alternative to go to business, a business line of credit. I'll, I'll just not do what I was supposed to do that week, like go out and go on a vacation or like, you know, out to a fancy dinner. I'm pretty modest anyways, but there's some people that they don't think of how else they can cut and save money. They just automatically put it on a credit card or, you know, their uh, business uh, line. So just make sure you're not doing those things because you don't want to get yourself in a bad position. Just remember, there's always these extra little fees and charges and all these little things. So just make sure you're being aware of it because it's going to vary from lender to lender and it'll depend on any type of other agreements. All right, we're wrapping up this season. One last word of advice that I have is just from me as an entrepreneur is to apply for business lines of credit and loans when you don't really need it. That way, when you do need it, 
you aren't negotiating with your lender from a position of weakness. You want to make sure that you are always in strength. Your numbers look good. You don't really need the money and they see that you don't really need the money. So they're more desperate to give you the money because they know they're going to make money off of you anyways, not the other way around. I hope all of this has helped. And thanks for tuning in. To That's Beauty it for today. Tune in tomorrow for the Beauty Boss Millionaire podcast. And don't forget to follow the Beauty Boss Millionaire, Felicia Fricasi, on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Beauty Boss Millionaire. Also, if these are really helpful, please review, rate, and share, or just send the link to someone who may need this. See you tomorrow.